Well, it's a Tuesday that feels like a Monday, but that's because we had a Memorial Day weekend where I hope all of you had uh, a wonderful weekend that you found time to be able to worship the Lord on Sunday and that uh, you also found time to be in his word and to be in prayer and to give him thanks for for everything. And uh, that's part of the purpose of these episodes. And I welcome you to episode four of Stirred Up. Uh, the purpose of all this is to encourage you to stir you up to love and good works on behalf of Christ, for Christ, and for his people. And one of the things that uh, we can stir each other up with is with Scripture. Because maybe you didn't have a great weekend. Or maybe the weekend was great, but you've been dreading today. Or maybe there's something later on in the week that has you full of anxiety or has you dismayed. Maybe you have been going through the mountaintop, or maybe you're down in the valley. Wherever you're at, there is reason to give thanks to God, and there is reason to have hope, because as Christ promises in the Great Commission, He is with us. He is with us, and He will never leave, never leave us. He is with us even till the end of the age. There's a verse that, that is near and dear to my heart. I love all of Scripture, but I find myself often quoting Joshua 1 9 have I not commanded you says the Lord be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go I can't tell you how many times I have quoted that verse before going into a situation where I was nervous anxious uncertain I can't tell you how many times I've downloaded a picture of that verse and put it on the screen of my smartphone so that I could look at it and remind myself that I am not going through this alone. That the Lord God of all creation is with me. And it's such a wonderful verse. God has commanded us to be strong and courageous. Not to be strong and courageous in our own strength, but to find courage in His strength and that he is with us wherever we go, which causes us to then not be frightened and not be dismayed. We don't want to remain frightened or dismayed. You might begin being frightened or dismayed, but you shouldn't stay there because if you truly trust in the Lord, to remain frightened and dismayed is sin. So God promises us, don't be frightened, don't be dismayed, because he has commanded us that we can have courage because of his strength we can be strong because of his strength and because the lord our god is with us wherever we go a good song that drives that point home would be a mighty fortress is our god
Oh, it is he who must win the battle for us. That's where we have our confidence, is because he has won that battle. He is and was victorious and always will be, and we share in that victory. Praise be to God. Now, uh, we try to keep these videos relatively short. Uh, I know how busy everyone's lives are, and so the idea behind this is to be able to give that quick little refresher, that quick filling of a cup, that quick reminder of who Christ is and what he's done for us and that we're, we're, we've been bought and purchased by his blood, that our lives are now his. And so it helps us to remind one another to, to live for him and not ourselves. Now, you might have a, a big thing going on today. You might have nothing going on today and you're feeling lonely. But wherever you are, please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your glorious Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our God. Help us to have the courage, help us to have the, the confidence in our own salvation and the understanding of the gospel so that we might be able to share with others, those that you've put around us, the marvelous nature of the gospel, the bad news of sin and the good news of Christ who saves us from our sins. Help us too, no matter where we're at or what we're going through, to be strong and courageous, not because of our own strength or our own resourcefulness or anything about us. That's not where we gain our strength and our courage. Lord, help us to find our strength and our courage in you and in your strength. Help us to not be frightened or dismayed, but to put more and more of our trust and faith in you, knowing that you are our God and you are with us wherever we go. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Help, our live, help us live our lives for you. Help us seek your will and not our own. Help us to have a hunger and thirst for your word, the scripture, and then feed that hunger and thirst. And then as you open our eyes and ears to your word more and more each day, may you help us grow in the likeness of Christ, for that is our goal and that is the promise I look forward to the most, that one day you will finish the work that you have begun in us and we will be made perfect, able to finally worship you and live for you the way we should. Lord, be with us in a special way, meeting each and every one of our needs in your perfect way and in your perfect time. Help us to glorify you and to tell others of you. Hear our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, until we speak again, God bless you, God's grace and peace be with you, and have a Christ-filled day.